Hi guys, welcome back to a brand new tattoo fail reaction video. Hello everyone, what is the tea? What is the scalding hot Darjeeling, the Assam, the Lapsang Sushon, the El Grey? What is the tea? Hi everyone, hello, hello, hello. So I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful end of your week. Now this video is going up a day early because tomorrow I'm getting more tattoo work on my leg. I'm very, very, very excited. I also just got more tattoo work on my arm. So that is basically color throughout my entire arm, which I'm very, very happy about. If it looks a bit gross, it is obviously like quite new. Anyway, today we're back for some more Tattoo Fail videos. I'm very excited. I'm really, really happy how the last one did the job stopper one. I can't believe how well that one actually did. So welcome to all the new subscribers. We've got like an influx of people from that video. So welcome to the channel. I'm Roly. Hope you stick around. Hope you're a bit fun. And of course, as I always do after posting a new podcast, make sure you go check out the most recent episode of Gag of the Millennial podcast with me and Luxaria. We did a part two to the entitled parents who got instant karma it was a lot. There's a link down below. Go check out the re most recent podcast. We adore doing it. So thank you for all the feedback that we do get on it. But anyway, let's not beat around the bush, eh? And get on with these tattoo fails. <laughs> okay. Oh. 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 Mary Magdalene. Oh, poor Mary Magdalene. She is four days in on a cat binge. And now she's like, I don't know who I am. Where is God? Was I had sex? Pregnant? I'm still a minor, but God's got a baby in me. Disgusting. If that offends you, pay more attention. I'm sure if Mary Magdalene and Jesus came down today and saw this, they'd be like, yes, crucify me. I want to go back to heaven. Oh, wow. So this person's getting like, I don't know. Is this, what is, like, the, is that like flowers and stuff? Like, if you're going to get face tattoos, you need to make sure they are like, one million percent like stunning this just like is this meant to be like flowers and there's like a name or i don't know what that, i i can't make up what that is is this meant to be like a butterfly on the side here dots and like a heart under the eye and then there's like this yeah and then there's this strange flower i think i th i think it's meant to be a flower i am confusion i don't understand. your face is like one of the most important things it's it's bewildering to me that people don't think of it as like maybe I should probably put the most effort maybe spend the most and make the face tattoo the most pristine thing ever Chevy life I'm sure the car brand loves that you've done like I wow but like it's not even like symmetrical or like perfect this isn't straight it's like coming down but like it's so much shorter on this side than it is on this I this, see, this, to me, out of anything that we see on these videos, stuff like this is the one thing that really puzzles me. This brand of car is never going to be like, oh my God, yes, we love him. Let's pay him money. Let's give him a free car. Unhinged. Unhinged. I awful. So we have a family. They're hills of eyes, apparently. But the, the, the commenter says here, there are no words. This artist claims they won an award for this. Sure, Jan. I'm sure those children, when they grow up, they're going to look at that and go, Thank you, Daddy. Yes, I really loved it. It really emphasizes the gout. Okay, so what is this? This is what? Pressure is... Drib... Drib... Dribbilage? Drib... Oh, is it going to say pri... Pr is it going to say privilege? Pressure is priv... Oh... Pressure is privilege. But look, but this doesn't look like a... This looks like a B. It may be like a V, but they've got like a line here that makes it look like a B. This P long here is so much shorter than this. I actually thought this was a D to begin with. I thought, oh, well, that was more of a D. What does pressure is a privilege even mean? It's a real privilege that my boss is putting so much pressure on me because I love being stressed out. It's the real pressure that I can't afford my bills this month because of the energy crisis. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. I disagree. Oh my God. <laughs> Are you kidding? <laughs> But I'm not mad at this. And let's just be like, some of the line work is terrible. But the idea of Mr. Sissy Blobby Man in a like a martini glass going, hello, girls, take a sip. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Blobby is the most hideous thing that the UK has ever created. Objectively, the tattoo's not done well, but the concept, I'm like, do you know what? You live your life, girl. I will. So we have these portrait tattoos. Um, are they the Chuckle Brothers? Like, what? <laughs> oh dear. Wow. What's up with the teeth? Why do they have like this? I don't understand. I don't get it. 
Again, like when you, I don't like. I want to know how, when you went into the studio. How like how did you not go look at their bank of work and just go, hmm, maybe I don't want to make it look like they've been rolling in dirt. Ha 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 ha
Such a heavenly way to die, and it's a double-decker bus? Please don't tell me someone you know someone who died in a double-decker bus, so you thought you'd tattoo that. This is literally what I said about Jesus. If this, if if I died by a double-decker bus, and I came back from the dead, and I saw that someone had tattooed this, it's a commemoration to me. I'm like, what the f*** uh, are you doing? <laughs> it, wait, is that, re is that a tattoo? Is that real? So they've got, like, just scribbles on their feet? Is this meant to be, like... I know there's like a big thing about watercolor kind of like what like lines and splashes and stuff which i think actually look really cool like when they're done well they look really good i don't know if this is what this person was going for again there's there's never there's never really any context to any of these photos but like it kind of just looks like a child has scribbled on your hand but but like it's all raised here and but so you can tell that's been tattooed because of the way that the skin looks it's not just like actual pet is that what they were going for and they just kind of ended up with the Life needs living and you're doing that, girl. Ooh, a ooh, ah, ah, tingly dong, tingly wingy bing. Ooh, a ooh, ah, ah, I've got scan. Make him stop! Make him stop! Oh, here's my other Sonic tattoos. One on the left arm and one on the left of my leg. I'm very triggered. <laughs> like, the design on this one is obviously just done to look a bit bizarre. Like, he's holding a f uh. samurai sword, for God's sake. So I don't think this one's actually terrible. This looks like it's been done relatively well. But this one, on the other hand, like this, like as someone who's got Sonic on his arm, this is very upsetting. But like this is like, why does he have red eyes? Does he smoke too much weed? Or like he's, he's got pink eye, got squared in the eye, and all of a sudden he's like, oh, I'm blind. Another new addition. I may, I may or may not have a slight obsession with skulls. I mean, the skull looks like it's very upset. <laughs> Cry the, the poor crying skull that's hallucinating with music around the outside and I don't know what I've uh, Whatever this is meant. This kind of looks like a bat wing kind of looks almost like a bat wing could be an umbrella We never know with these things. I can't get over that the just the intense shaky line work Like there's so many of these tattoos we see and that it's like the line work is like <laughs> Oh no chatterer they've done you dirty I love Hellraiser. It's one of my favorite like horror movie villains and I love the films. Well, the first two anyway, they're kind of a bit weird. My favorite one of the demons that he has, the Cenobites. Cenobites is Chatterer, which is this. But this like, oh no. In a way, making it look hideous kind of goes well with the hideous per like the hideous demon it is. But also like, it's just bad. Like it's just not good. It's just not good. I feel like this face sums up the tattoo. I've had people in my last one being like, oh, they were like prison tattoos. I didn't want to say it in the last video. We did the job stopper ones. And some of it looked kind of like prison-y tattoos. But like, I, I, I mean, I can't obviously assume. Um, but it's just... Sure. Okay, so this person's got some kind of skull with wings on there. Oh, and a cross facing downwards. Anti-Christ... Is that meant to be a cross downwards? But then I guess what are these things? But like... What's this meant to be? Like, what's all this white body, white boy wasted? I mean, it says it all really, doesn't it? But like, what's all this? Like, what's all this stuff like coming down the arm? Like, is your, it, I really want my arms to look like it's rotting. I love the smell of mold. I don't understand like, what, what's that meant to be? Mold? Rot? Sand? Something about this almost feels a bit racist. I feel like this is like one of the, one of these things are gonna be like some sort of like racial, Slur was like I don't understand. I'm guessing this is dysfunctional. Like it's just a bit. It's this sounds like this to me. Just sounds like an adult child who's like, yeah, don't f with me, mum. I'm angry. Uh, yeah, I'm dysfunctional. Yeah, uh, white boy wasted. Like it just feels a bit kind of like I'm a child who hasn't grown up. Wait, what? So wait, what's this? Wait, stay humble hand. Stay hustle hand. Ha what does? Wait, wait. I, that doesn't say stay humble. I read it. My brain automatically corrected it, but it says stay humble. Hovel. Hovel. What? What? Stay H U H B L E. Huh? Hubble. Stay Hubble hand. And then stay H U V S L E. Is that meant to say hustle? I think it's meant to say hustle, I guess. Maybe. Hum. Hubble. What the hell? Check the spelling before you tattoo something into you. How was that so difficult to do? Ugh. Oh, gosh. Right on the side of the face as well. Like, this is... Oh, wow. Like, 
wow. Look at that shading. It just looks like someone's just gone scribbled on the face. Like, that is... Wow. Apparently this is a name cover-up that a local shop did. So I'm assuming the name was probably down here. Again, like if you're gonna get like a cover, you wanna cover something up, you need to go to someone who's really good at doing that. Regardless, I mean, regardless of this tattoo itself, this is another thing of like, just don't get people's names tattooed in you. Just don't do it. Like, just don't do it. Like what, like if you need someone to tattoo your name in them to prove their love to you, then you need to like sort out your priorities and vice versa. Like if, if you're someone who's like, I have to tattoo him so he knows so much I love him. Like you need to get in a different relationship. Like if that's the relationship you're in, that's a toxic relationship. And then this person tried to cover it up and has ended up with something probably far worse. She must've really hated that person. <laughs> <laughs> God, so this person's tried to do a uh, Batman sleeve. I guess, so this is, I'm guessing, uh, this is obviously meant to be the Batman logo with, I guess this is like meant to be like skyscrapers, like all around it. And then there's K-Hole Man and bloody Harla, Harla cut. <laughs> I thought they said sis, sis, say, sis, say, sis, say. And again, you've got so much done. Like you've got so much, like, I don't get, Sometimes, you know, sometimes if, if you go to a tattooist or whatever and you start and it's not great, the idea that you would like look at it and go, it's wonder, magical, I love it, girls. And then you carry on. Like if I was in a place and they started doing that, I would not stay. I don't, I'm just like, how did you get this far? Because look, it goes all the way down here as well. Like what's down here? Like that's so much. And it looks like crusty as well. Like it doesn't even look like, uh, maybe it's still healing or whatever, but like it looks almost like dirty. Like it's, oh, oh, the dark night girls. I bet the Joker tells his story. Oh my God. Oh no, not Frank the rabbit. Uh, props, it's still terrifying. Look, look at those serrated blade teeth. Donnie Darko is quaking. Frank is very upset. Uh, I love Frank the bunny. I, I like Donnie Darko, I love that film. And I love the, the bunny, but like, this is just, look, look. Oh, you've done him dirty, girl. 28 days. 14 hours, eight months. I can't remember what it was, but, oh, the, oh. A pornography Simpsons character. This kind of looks like, there's, a, I, I'm a big Simpsons fan. There's a person on YouTube called The Simpsons Theorist. Um, I think that's what they call their YouTube channel is called. And they kind of look like this. I mean, obviously we don't, this this is very pro provocative. We're not be like, they kind of look like this. I feel like they've taken her image and been like, oh, I'm gonna touch it on it and put massive tits on it, sure. I'm sure Matt Groening would be like, yes, thank you, I love it. Oh no, this this wolf is melting. This is a melted candle wolf. What's, and the geometric side just looks, look at the, look at some of the line work here. Oh my God. So geometric sort of like line work is you need to make sure that you're going to someone who really like specializes in it. I mean, you can tell this person hasn't gone to even a good artist who does normal, like normal tattoos. Cause look on this side, it looks bad as well. Geometric. And you want to make sure that all the lines are like perfect and the spaces are perfect and symmetrical. Like, oh, howling at the moon girls. I'd be howling too if I got this. Hat love. I was going to be like, hat glove, hat, hat glove. What? I'm really confused because normally the, like, the stereotypical kind of thing is that love hates on the knuckles. Hat glove or hat, hat, gl hat, gl hat, hat, love. If it was meant to be like a funny spin on love hate, surely you'd put love, you would put like glove hat? Because it's meant to be love hate, because that, that's the way you would say it. You don't say hate love. Sure, you know what? As long as you're happy. Well, guys, I'm well and truly bored that trigger train today. Choo choo, speeding down the road, we're about to crash off a cliff and plunge to my death. Bobby! I'm still standing. I've got. Ga Hello! Um, Thank you for watching this video. This has been a lot. Again, I never know when it comes to tattoo, like fail videos, genuinely have zero idea what's gonna show up. I just scroll through. I got lots of different pages that I go on. I just scroll through them and just see what's in front of me and just react instantly. So it's like, I never know what I'm gonna get. Sometimes I'm like, oh my God, that's disgusting. Sometimes I'm like, oh, actually I don't mind that too much. I wanna point out as well. Remember that don't take these videos too seriously. Like, obviously this is just me sharing my opinions on things and having a bit of fun and like blah, 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 blah. But like. It ain't that deep, sis. Like, calm down if anyone wants to get a bit funny about it. Thank you. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and of course, come and follow me all on my social medias, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, all that stuff is linked down below. 
And finally, of course, make sure you go check out the most recent episode of Gag of the Millennial. And of course, a massive lovely welcome to all of the new subscribers who joined over the past few weeks. Wonderful to have you here and I hope I can keep you entertained for a while. Today's Twitch shout out goes to Lefo52. Thank you for following me over on Twitch. If you would like to be in with the chance that's been in being in the next Twitch shout out, come follow me over on Twitch. It's Roly West. We stream a few nights a week. We're currently playing through Amnesia series. So it's been a lot, lots of scary jump scares and crying. Thank you to my lovely patrons whose names you can see on the side of the screen here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And a massive shout out to my lovely top tier Patreons. Benjamin Baker, Bethard, Kaz.Thom, Shell Herman, Christina Carl, Con Pemberton, Erin Grace, Heather McFarland, I at, Jenna Beth Herman, Joanna Krause, Caitlin Wright, Kathleen Ritter, Kelly Bowser, Chloe Louise, Luke Peterson, Rachel D. Seviska, and Steffi Tech. Thank you for being my top tier patrons. You guys are delicious. But anyway, be fabulous, amazing, be gay, be everything you want to be. And don't let any bitch of the say that you can't be who wise that because you are flawless.